Hey, it's Triple J here from Buddy Automotive Innovations. It is just after midnight here on Friday, May 6th, bright and early in the morning. And I'll be happy to announce that later today we'll be releasing the official beta version of our BidBuddy version 5 software to some customers. We did have a few customers that had an alpha version several months ago, but this is the first flow, uh, full blown version that anyone can use. And we're looking forward to start the rollout on that process. What we plan to do here is probably give you one to two webcasts a week to kind of give you a, a sneak peek of what's coming down the pike with BidBuddy version 5, what the new features are, and what you can expect when we get you installed. And most everyone's already had their database server part of the BidBuddy upgrade to, to SQL Server 2008. So that's going to save us quite a bit of time on the upgrade process. The hardest part of the upgrade will be the actual training of the retraining of you and how the new software works. The actual install and upgrade of version 5 software is pretty seamless. I do have to report one little bit of bad news potentially is that any data that you have existing in auctions in version 4 will not be coming forward to version 5. We can leave version 4 installed if you have reporting history that you want to get a hold of still, but in version 5 we've completely redesigned the back end of the system and the way it stores auctions and there was just no way to bring those forward unfortunately. So we can leave version 4 if you have old history that you wanted to keep in there and, and review for reporting purposes, but otherwise uh, going forward version 5 has a completely redesigned table layout. There's no more QCI auction versus bid auction, so it really helped to avoid a lot of that confusion we've had in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in here and just show you, you know, kind of a day-to-day -day kind of thing with the bid buddy. And you'll see some features that I'm not going to talk about right now, but we'll get to that in the next uh, release or two of, of our video series here. So right now we've got a full screen application. No auction has been selected, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new auction. And let's say I'm going to IAA. And I live in Connecticut, so of course I'm going to go to the Hartford, uh, Connecticut auction here over in Middletown. I'm just going to scroll down to Hartford. We'll do next week's because May 5th is already gone. So it's pulling auction data from IA's website live and uh, 217 cars at the auction. It's evaluating all those cars for us just like it always has. We've got a new QCI score calculation and we'll talk about that in one of our future webcasts here. But you're going to notice a lot higher scores than we've had before. We've even got some 100% cars here for our QCI score. So that's going to be a real nice little enhancement to kind of give you a more accurate score. We're going to go ahead and look at this uh, 2006 Altima here. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it, go right into it. And here's our parts for the car. It's all one big grid, grid view that has everything all in one. So without even doing a thing to this car, you'll notice that I already have a bid price of $3,500. Let's say if I was hitting the front end, I'm going to go ahead and mark that front end as bad and there's our bid price already down to $1,200. So with making one click of a bad front end, I've already got a bid price. You know, problem solved, bids are already ready to go. So we've got part status here. We can go from good to bad to exclude. Exclude would be if it was a good part, but you didn't want to count it for whatever reason. We've got our interchange selections here. So even if I haven't selected the interchange, there happens to be two options on this transmission. It's already giving me prices because it's averaging them together. And we'll get into more pricing on a future video as well. So we've got some stars here to kind of give you a visual indication of what's going on as well. A gold star, as you can probably tell, relates to a sold out status. That's our highest five star degree of need. Our next one will be a green star, which is our four star for need more. A blue would be buy more for three star. And a gray star would be for a two star uh, will sell. And a red star is our four or one star may sell. And for no recommendation, it would have no star whatsoever. I can also hover over this S and see it's sold out. You're currently sold out of this part. And uh, two options had a may sell recommendation. So we're trying to give you a little more visual cues of what's going on, a little more information right at your fingertips as, as to what's going on. We've got our actual price and our scale price. Our prices are being scaled on two different feet, uh, facts now, based off the grade of the part and also based off the recommendation. So especially with the Pinnacle customers out there, you always have a standard B price stored. So now you have the option to mark up A grade parts and mark down your C grade parts. Or however your prices are stored, you can do the same thing as well. 
And you can also upgrade or degrade the price of the part depending on the recommendation as well. If it's the five stars, four, three, two, one stars. I can also say that this price came from my interchange average sales price. So I've actually sold this part before for $1,150, this engine assembly. I've got the resolution dumbed down here a little bit, but we can scroll over a little bit, see our interchange descriptions and interchange numbers. And I can scroll down to see our fluff percent as it's $711.56. I can click on it. I can even play with a little graph here, a little speedometer, to get different prices of our fluff value. Our bid summary page gives you all that math. You'll notice that we've got a towing fee separate now, and we've got our pool fees. That we've got a new pool fee table that we'll show you all about. A couple more statuses to save your cars by. Vehicles on hand now shows an all one big list view as well. You can see everything right at once with some uh, indication with pictures as well to give you a clue if you've made your money back on it or not. Uh, Vinda code's in there as well. QCI score happens to be at 38% now that I marked that front end as bad on this car. And if I mark that go back to good, it goes up to a 59%. So there's uh, definitely a lot of stuff going on here with the Bid Buddy. This is just your first quick little preview of it, and I'll hope to get you another video uh, probably early next week to give you more information about what you can expect when we start rolling out BidBuddy later this month. That's it for now. Stay tuned.